bomber uh, currently being prepped at Abu Musa Island to annihilate the enemy forces along that runway at Harvandara to ensure that the site's inoperable. You will rendezvous with that bomber and escort them to Havandar Airfield to deliver their payload. You will also eliminate any surface-to-air threats in the surrounding islands and keep the skies clear of any enemy fighters you will undoubtedly be alerted to or present. So, uh, finally, you'll destroy that new oil processing plant, the command center, and the du dual bio-incubator laboratories located just north of the Havandar Airfield. Then you'll continue to sweep out any enemy ground forces that you encounter. Our primary mission is to escort the B-1B bomber to Harvandar Airfield so they can deliver their payload and engage any air-to-air -air threats that are impeding your success. Uh, the secondary mission is to eliminate any surface-to-air threats on the surrounding islands. And finally, uh, our last mission is to destroy the oil processing plant, the command center, and the dual bio incubator labs located north of Havandara Airfield. So this is the overall area of operations. You can see that we've got the Abraham Lincoln and the Harry S. Truman over here in the water. This is where the B-1B bomber will be located, uh, being prepped right now at Abu Musa Island. Their job is to fly directly to Havandara Airfield and deliver their payload, and obviously they're going to be met with hostile forces along the way. This is another area overview picture where the Havandara Airfield has incubator labs and, and other hostile aircraft located here. And then there's an SA-10 that's located on this island that needs to be taken out, uh, and then there's an SA-3. And that also needs to be taken out. And you can see where the Havandari Airport, we're going to level this airfield right here. Um, but it has all of this enemy, uh, mostly it's oil, gas, uh, not a lot, small arms fire. Uh, definitely some man pads over there. But hopefully you won't run into too much resistance. So see first, no, they need to take that SA-10. It's going to shoot yep, the bomber. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll get also trust the SA three. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so bomber escort. Um, basically, how things are going to work is uh, the two eleven and also uh, the F eleven will take off in their respective aircraft carriers. They'll fly out to the initial point at waypoint one, and this will be your holding area. So VF two eleven, my cap group. When you guys get off the boat. You want to fly to this initial point. Should this should be your waypoint one? Gather yourselves. Make sure you're ready to go, and then proceed into the area. Maintain high altitude and sweep out any enemy air threats that you encounter. You can see that there's an airfield over over here off of this point on the island, and two up here where you may encounter enemy aircraft. Obviously, uh, we want to get out there and try to take out any of the SAM sites as quickly as possible. But you're off the boat first. Go back to that. And then w once we get off the boat, then obviously seed and strike teams will go out and, and handle their business. High as uh, as escort, you're going to be last off the boat. You want to make sure that you give us enough time to take out the SA-8, the SA-10, and the SA-3s on these islands here. And give CAP enough time to eliminate as many of these uh, air-to-air -air threats. When you get to this holding point near waypoint one high, I want you to go into the F10 menu and call the bomber. You have to actually go into the F10 menu and call the bomber. That'll tell the bomber that you're up in the air and you're ready to go. And then he'll launch. You get on his wing, follow him all the way into Havandara, let him drop his payload, and then you come on back to the boat, okay? Roger. All right. So seed and strike teams. So we're not going to meet at the initial point, right? We're definitely going to, once you get your uh, tasking, once cap is off, please be patient. This is about precision. You don't want to get into a mix when there's caps doing their thing and you're going to get impeded by your targets. Let cap go out first. Don't be in a hurry to get off the boat. Don't be in a hurry to get to your waypoint. Give them some time. Give them a good you know, two, three minutes, let monitor 305, let hear when they get to the initial point and they're beginning their, their actual combat air patrol. 
then get off the boat. Do your seven miles, get off the boat, and then proceed gingerly into uh, waypoints one, two, three, and four. So uh, you'll fly. This is waypoint one here at this Keshem Island. Obviously, waypoint two is Island or, or Hormuz. And then three and four are right near Havandar Airport. You want to take out the incubator labs and the command center uh, and the processing plant so that uh, the bomber can do the rest and take out the airport. Okay, so launch events. Local time is going to be 1610. Hopefully we get off the boat by 1640. Case one departure. If we're good and fast and do our jobs, hopefully we'll have a case one coming back. Otherwise, definitely possible case three uh, recovery. Okay. Uh, we don't have any helos in this particular mission. Uh, bingo, definitely set at 5,000 if you're unable to refuel with the tanker. And it's a decently clear, clear weather. Uh, visibility's, visibility's plus 20 miles. Uh, you have your launch uh, altitudes there with, uh, go ahead and make a quick note of those. So 211, you guys would be at Angels 30. Um, the 103 would be at Angels 24. The winders, you guys are going to be at Angels 22. Uh, high, you're going to be by yourself at Angels 32. So you're going to be at the top of the altitude. And then uh, Kool-Aid and Crow, you guys would be at Angels 24. We don't have Jason or uh, Diamond in this on this flight. So expected threats. You've got Iranian F4E Phantom Twos, F5E uh, Tiger Twos, and there's a couple of SA342 uh, Gazelles. Military intel has said that it's possible. It's possible that you may encounter Iranian F14s. So be on the lookout. Make sure that you identify your targets. You don't want to head a friendly F-14. Okay. There are no naval threats, land-based threats, SA-3s, SA-10s, SA-8s, and also man pads. There's a tank farm full of MBT T-80Us. Uh, there's some AAAs, the ZU-23-4s, and then they have some BRT-80s out there. Uh, you all know the rules of engagement. Don't uh, eliminate unnecessarily. Uh, any friendly forces or or any any life. So, victory uh, and nickel. So victory isn't here. Nickel, you guys are off the boat first. Quickly followed by uh, Bones and then Winder. Uh, also, then Ripper. I want you to take off last. So that's incorrect. Talon, you guys take off uh, right after. I mean, you're you're on your own boat, so. Um, unless you guys want to meet up or, or crow, you want to join, uh, Kool-Aid on the, on the area as Truman or fly over there and meet them. However you guys want to do it, but definitely monitor 305 and, uh, hi, let cap get where they're going. Once you get to the initial point, make sure that you go to the F10 menu and call the bomber and, and then right. go ahead and get on his way. 305 is going to be guard and also a wax so or it's different. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you the comms menu. Hold on one second. I don't, I don't think we have an AWACS on this. Uh, okay. Not a live one, at least. So. so, escort, that's you, hi. So, you'll fly near Abu Musa Airport, located at waypoint one. Go to the F-10 menu, call the bomber. When you, he gets up in the air, get on his wing and escort him all the way out to waypoint two. Okay? Your loadout, you've got four... AIM-54 Mark 60s, you got two 138 AIM-9s, and two AIM-7s, and two fuel tanks. Should be more than enough. Sweet. Nickel, uh, checker, since there's both of you. Uh, you got fly to Havendar Airfield, located at waypoint two. So go to your initial point, meet up, make sure you get your plan together. Communicate when you get ready to go out be to begin your combat air patrol so that we all know that we can launch uh, thereafter. And then just clear the skies of any enemy aircrafts that you encounter. Uh, your loadout similar with two AIM-54 Mark 60s, two 138 AIM-9s, and then you have three of the AIM-7s and two tanks. 
Okay, so for Bones, uh, Hornet drivers, we're going to fly out to Keshem, located at Waypoint 1. There's an SA-10 there, also being surrounded by an SA-8, surrounded, uh, surrounding that particular airport. They want to try to knock the bomber down, so we've got to take that out as quickly as we can. Uh, right now, we've got uh, two harms, we've got two 9Xs, we've got a 120, and we've got four GBU-38 GPS-guided bombs and a targeting pod, also uh, a tank. One point of note, use your environment to your advantage. The, it's an oil processing plant. It, there's fuel there. If you hit those, chances are you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck, especially if you go after flammable items, right? Or, or things near big gas plants, gas tanks, gas trucks. You know, you want to try to target those as much as you can. Talon, you guys will fly to Hormuz Island. That's located at Waypoint 2. Okay, Waypoint 2. Uh, from there, you go ahead and locate the SA-3 sites and the refueling trucks to ensure safe passage in the skies. Again, use your environment. Refueling trucks, if it's near an SA-3, might want to hit it just in case. You can do maximum damage. You have the same loadout with uh, a 120, two 9Xs. Two harms, two uh, or four BRU fifty five GBU thirty eights, a pod and a tank. Sounds good. Yeah, it would be actually. Uh, so uh, Winder, you guys got a really big job. Okay, uh, you're gonna fly out to Harbindar Airfield, right where the the bomber's going to meet at, at waypoint three. You're going to have to try to plow that road, okay? Waypoint three is what I want you to try to destroy that new oil processing plant, the one that you see right on the screen right here, and these dual white incubator labs. That's your main target. It's filled with a lot of just um, processing trucks, oil plants, things of that nature. Be very wary of this SA-18 that's just north of there in this AAA, right? And then you've got two helicopters on a helo, helo pad over here. If you fly high enough, just target these buildings. Uh, let your bombs do the rest, okay? Uh, you've got two GBU-31 3B penetrator bombs. More than enough to hit those and take those out. You've got four GBU-38 GPS guided. Um, you've got two 9Xs, a 120, a pod, and a tank, okay? Copy. Finally, um, so we don't have uh, Azul on this one, so we're going to have to maybe split somebody off to take out Waypoint 4. I think the, I'll go back to see who I, I've assigned to that. So um, you have to fly out to Havendar Airfield located at Waypoint 4. It's right near, basically right, right next door to uh, the previous target. You got to take out this command center, this green command center. What you're seeing here in, in red is all this tank farm stuff. These are all, uh, and this is, this is a large tank farm processing uh, near this command center. So this is going to be your primary target. Hit that and come home. Don't, don't, if you get engaged, you know, let Cap do their thing. Obviously defend yourselves, but this is your primary target. Tom's um, channels, uh, so tower approach deck, uh, that's going to be on button one, Marshall's button two, and uh, so you see right now, you know, victory, you don't have to use those, you guys can use your assigned channels, so you've got, you know, and these are all in your knee boards, I believe, as well, uh, so you've got, you know, buttons two, uh, three through uh, 18, so you don't have to use mids unless you absolutely want to. Um, Tanker's going to be on button 19 or 285. Our strike common is going to be TAC. Uh, TAC 1 is going to be on button 2305. I did correct the bullseye. Thank you, Senpai. And so you guys should be able to uh, find the target pretty easily. Are there any questions? Oh, good. I do have a question. You, Sorry. I got a little late on that one. Thanks. Yeah. Um, if, if, since uh, we got a, what was that, a three or four different uh, ground targets for our strike fighters today, is there a way, or will there be a frequency that the strike fighters can contact the TAP flights 
because the cab flights will op will probably be running multiple small flight elements in order to stretch ourselves uh, to help out uh, the individual um, strike fighter flights. Is there a, a comm? That, that we can you know, monitor you know to... yeah i mean if you want to i mean obviously everybody's going to be monitoring 305 but i would suggest monitoring maybe 239 since jason isn't here button 18 for the hornets uh it should be it should be com 118 for you guys as well channel okay. i mean channel 18 com 1 okay. 239 we can use that so we'll use that as a paging system if you guys need us all right 239 mobile we'll, we'll be on 305 that's okay that's our uni um, can you do me a favor? Can you go back to the assignments you had for everybody all the way in the beginning? Yeah, I don't remember. Let me, yeah. yeah, let me let me let me sh let me share for uh screen. for high. I'm gonna be monitoring 305 the whole time, and also you guys are gonna let me know when you want to spawn the bomber when the road is clear per se, and I'll go in and scoring it. Don't you? You're our package high, so you're the most important part. Yeah, you're the most important part high. Okay, so yeah, Britain yeah. Moist, you guys have waypoint four. Poe and I, we have waypoint one. And Crow and Kool Aid, you guys have waypoint two. Can you just scroll uh, down to uh, to eleven for me, Jim? Sorry about that. Um, Texas Circuit, you guys have waypoint three. Copy. Just for 211's sake, uh, sorry Q, but I'm going to throw Mo in lead of second element. So Mo, you're going to have ra Ramrod. Q, you'll take two. Yep, um, no problem. I was like, wait, me flight lead? What happened? Um, long story short, uh, Mo, I want you to, uh, we're going to use you as more of a QRF. Okay. Um, so because it's it, a two ship. Is this we're what you ahead. want here? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Curver Girl, I don't know your... 307. Perfect, thank you. Right. Yeah, uh, Mo, you're gonna do our QRF, and then we'll come right. back and uh, we'll refill as you expend. Sounds good. All right. So you guys have that good. Yep. Any other questions? Did the tanker tack in get posted? Uh, I believe so. It's 15 X-ray. Always 15 X-ray. Um, Tomcats, all of them, uh, high, it's just going to be you plus 211. Um, I would very highly suggest high, if we do need you, that you plug in the bullseye as home base, just so we have a reference point if we need you to use NavGrid. Have you used NavGrid before, high? Uh, no, not really, I think. I don't think so. Um, long, can... story, long story short, have Jester do a, um, a waypoint from map from Jester. Yeah, change your home base to the way to the bullseye. It'll automatically be there, and then just enable NavGrid. It'll allow you to get um bulls calls from us rather easily. Roger. One final thing. I just saw Viking. Viking, are you here? Can you talk to us? I don't know if he's able to do lot ATC or he's just uh, spectating. I'm going to assume a spectator then. Okay, I think everybody has um, their task. Obviously, uh, 211, you guys need to get off the boat as quickly as you can. And then there's no, uh, once you get up, monitor on 305, let us know that you begin your cap. And at that point, I think Talon with Kool-Aid and Crow, you guys can get off the boat along with uh, me and Poe. Uh, and then quickly right after us, um, Vex and in, in circuit, you guys can jump off the boat as well. Copy. Yeah. I mean, we could probably me. go out as a four ship anyway. So there he is.
Three on two, cat three, uh, salute. Three zero one reaching seven hundred miles, reaching three zero five. Hey, cool idea up on mids by chance. Alright, who's Bones 103? Who are you looking for? Uh, Bones 103. Mid uh, check, one one zero three. Got you on mids. Happy for bones five. Leave it, Charlie. Happy I'm just wondering, the aircraft one zero three, because they're uh, they're damaged from well, me and you are both damaged because we uh, somehow split into each other. Looks like we'll only be able to cat take cats uh, three and four since the Tomcats have decided to help themselves. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set my bulls uh, bullseye real quick. I'm almost a good guy. Oh, yeah. Probably about three miles. Okay, yeah, Roger. I have to manually set the bullseye right, it's not a waypoint. Probably better to respawn or repair, you have to shut the... I'm not sure, but, um... I think I can... Copy. I can pull it up and tell you it here. Uh, I, I have it in my new board, I wrote it down. Roger.
All right, I think we're the only ones left on the boat. I'm gonna go taxi to Cat One, and I'll wait for you. Roger. Taxi cat three. Rough rider talon one one taxi and a cat one. And make that two zero two. Rough rider four zero seven at the stern taxi to cat three. Seven side step, cat four. She's in tension, ready to go. Rudder. Rough Rider, 202, in tension, cat 2. Alright, you wanna do a uh, cubby launch? Launch together? Yeah, absolutely. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up. Two set. Alright, uh you can give me a countdown and I'll salute. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Rough rider, four zero seven, cat four salute. Departure. Rough Rider 202, Cat 2, salute departure, copy. Is visual request we join. Copy. Two. Yep, two year clear to rejoin. Two.
Chase flight coming right to 075, and I'll be climbing here, Angels 20. Two, looking to get saddled on loose cruise on the right. W2, uh, keep her so. Bones 1 1, launch cat 3. 1 1 0, cat 1, salute. Flight push button 20. Stack one, Talon one, checking in as fragged, 22 miles north east of Rough Rider, climbing angels 20.
Commander 1-1, this wheel's up, pushing by uh, waypoint. Flight fence in. And two fenced in ten point five. Leads fence ten five. We'll do contract speed Mach decimal eight one. Two. Tech one, Talon one is Angels twenty four as fragged fifty miles to waypoint one. Inbound. Okay, we have big back D band radar, twelve o'clock. I got it. Just that S three hundred starts locking this up. I'll just take us right to the east. We'll go around it. Roger.
Flight jammers on. Two jammer on. Coming right. Yeah, no, something doesn't seem right. I cannot believe that S300 is... Oh. oh look at that. Alright, coming back left. Flight, let's have those harms come in to your lower to ground, master arm arm. T's configured. It concurs, jammers off. Jammers off at you. Search radar coming about left at uh, 12 o'clock on harm page. Got it. Two, go combat spread. Two.
Okay, flight, here's what's gonna go on. I'm gonna fire at the search radar. Crow, you back up any other forces that will be firing at me or any other search radars that you find afterwards. Roger, I'll, uh, so I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold my harm shot until, uh, after yours, correct? Affirmative. I'm only holding one search radar, so if it, this harm doesn't take it out, then you can, uh, your weapon's free, but as of now, just, uh, hold until mine hits. I'm gonna go Magnum now. Roger. Magnum. Talon 1, uh, Magnum, SA3, Bulls 110 for 16. Okay, I got another that looks like launcher, maybe. Uh, you got, you can go on for that. I think it's a three right now. You can fire that. Yeah, I don't see it on my uh, target display. I just have the, uh, the S still. Okay, copy. I might have it if I bank right. I'm, think, I'm seeing another uh, target on the left, that left arrow indication, but I don't see it otherwise. Uh, that may be the SA-10 remnants of it. Yep. I'm gonna uh, make a arc to 090 uh, at 20 miles now. Uh, Roger. Uh, do you actually, I have a I have a nine on my uh, display right now. Is that it? Uh, nine. That's interesting. Um, yeah. That should not be emitting. Um, is it on the island? You know what? They're they're overlapped. Stand by. Uh, they're so close to each yeah. other that I think it's a nine of Yeah. Yeah, I'm far. Right. Yeah, I'm uh, jammer on coming left. I'm being locked, and I'm gonna pop a two. Roger. Yeah. Okay. There's enemy fighters detected nearby. Let's look out for them. Yep. Two jammer on. Lead is. Up. Roger. Lead is gonna come around to two nine zero. Be looking around for any bandits here. Uh, I have my jammer back on now. Lead is Mach 0.9 at 24 miles now. All right, I'm gonna wait until 15 miles. I'm gonna make a 180 to the left. And uh, when we roll out, let me know when you have that SA-3, launch at them, and I'll clear to the right. Roger. Alright, here we go. Okay, I had the three up there for a second there. I'm rolling out now. Uh, standby heading. Rolling out heading 050 here. Roger, T, you got the SA-3, hand off. Uh, I got something visual at my 11 o'clock. Can you concur? Standby. Yeah, I got uh, 10 miles, someone visual. You want me to fire the arm? Uh, fire your helmet, that's three that's locking me up now. Do you see him? Talon, one, two, knock down, that's eight, three. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna fire the arm now. Uh, Roger, 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 I'm gonna fire the I'm gonna roll in on him while he's hot. Oh, disregard. Alright, yeah, I have a uh, visual on missile. Two, you good? 
Two missile defeated. Uh, heading one two zero, climbing up back to Angels two four. Copy. One ones now at Angels twenty. We'll be setting up for bomb runs on any other uh, targets now. Roger. T's looking to rejoin. Roger. I'm a uh, Mach point seven eight Angels twenty heading zero nine or five. T's looking. I'm gonna flash my lights here. Lead is uh, uh, anchoring Angels 20, about 10 miles to the southeast of SA3 at waypoint 2. Roger. And CAC 3, Talon 1, report that SA3 destroyed. Uh, uh, anchoring Angels 20, 10 miles to the southeast. Attack. Use visual 11 miles on the trail. Copy. Say heading. Heading 305, coming slightly left. Roger. Lead has visual of SA3 site, BDA assessment. 1, uh, one P19 destroyed, 1 power unit destroyed. Uh, a lot of fuel trucks, a few tents down there. Uh, report on any SA-18s. Zero. Copy. Alright, I'll be, uh... I'll be targeting the first launcher of the line once my GPU-38s warm up. T3 mile on your trail. Copy. I'm now uh, heading 281, leveled out. Two status. Yeah, I'm sitting at about 1.7 miles off here, uh, seven o'clock right now. I'm gonna push up the power a little bit, but I'm trying to monitor my fuel state. Fuel state 7.4. Copy. I'm gonna be making a 180 anyway um, to uh, start uh, on my run. Uh, if you want to anchor right now and pick out targets yourself after my run, uh, then you can run in. Roger. I'm going to try to pickle off all four of my GBUs in one run here, make it useful. Roger. Currently right over the port of Havandara right now, uh, our anchoring angels 19 coming left. Roger. 
Uh, mark decimal 70. Lead as Roger. Control. Yep. Uh, just uh, one mile on your trail here. I'll probably take uh, 18 5 altitude deconfliction. Lead concurs. Attack 1, uh, Talon 1, engaging SA-3, Poles 110 for 7, Angel 19. And 1-1's one, one away. Yeah, I was I was only able to get one off there. Uh, I was going way too fast to do a do a three four drop, but uh, I'm gonna come around again from the east. Is the uh, Sam side on the north side of the island? It's on the west side here, uh, like northwest corner. Did you see that little city? Uh... Attack one, Talon one one, uh, buddy spike at fourteen. Roger. Uh, we got an anchor as well and try to find that target. Yeah, my target just got splashed. Uh, it's gonna be on the northwest side. If you see that massive city, it's about good kill, maybe good a kill. mile or so down the coast. Ready. All right, I'm 10 miles to the east now, coming back in. I should see fire and smoke coming out of the northwest side of that island. 2 striking on the floor. 1's in, 2 nine zero. Oh, uh, 
kind of awkward. Uh, I hit the main fuel storage hold. Everything it blew up. Flight SA3 destroyed. Uh, lead hit the main fuel hold that exploded the entire site up in flames. Copy. Flight uh, will lead is Angels 18.7, heading westbound now. Yeah, I finally see the, the smoke. It's so weird I couldn't find it before. Alright, um, any other targets of opportunity we're going to hit here? Um, no, it, when I literally hit the main fuel hold, it exploded everything. Roger. I have, I have one of, yeah, if you zoom in on the site, you'll just, you'll, there's nothing left. Like, every single vehicle, every single tent, every single animal, every single grass is dead. Roger. Oh yeah, I'm getting low on fuel anyway. Yeah, same, um... Uh, shoot. I'm gonna be kinda heavy with these ordnance. Do you think I can drop them on the site, or do you want me to fly back with them? I mean... If they're in danger to you getting our back to base, then dump them. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pop them off. But I might just drop them on the, uh... On the side, just in yeah. case. Yeah, yeah, sure. There may be that one squirrel that made it through all that. Roger that. I'm gonna fly my app on heading uh, 300, come back in and drop all. Or uh, release Roger. all for the target. Yep. Actually, I'll, I'll probably do the same here. Actually, uh, I'll get on your wing here and I'll uh, look at you, drop these things. Uh, where are you at again? Uh, two is heading 300. Uh, Angels 18-5, heading, or speed 300 knots, and I am uh, northwest of the island. Got, got you on that, sir. Roger. Lead as you visual, we'll be joining up on you and I'll be dropping bombs with you. Roger that. I'm gonna have to reacquire because uh, my clear pod was being scurry, but when I make my left turn, he'll go ahead and reacquire it. Copy. I'm gonna go feet dry and then I'll pop a left turn. Roger, I'm approximately about five, about maybe three miles uh, off your left, uh, eight o'clock. Coming left. Uh, two safe speed. Card speed, three zero one, rolling out one nine or zero. Roger.
complete is with you. Visual. Coming left. Long at zero seven zero. Tack Talon flight is uh, nine miles to the west of SA three remnant. We'll be dropping. Coordinates in approximately 20 seconds. I'll be, I'll be dropping all of mine with you as well. Roger. All right, I'm in range, in plane. You all set? All set. All right, one is pickle. Perfect. Uh, come left. Oh, he's in the roll. <laughs> we were both aimed for the same point. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at that fish blow. That's awesome. All the squirrels are definitely gone now. Yeah, man. Alright, cool. You want to take meat again? Uh, sure. Cool, cool. Lead is crossing back under the left. Alright, lead has the formation again, uh, coming, continuing left turn to one, nine or zero. Roger, two visual, two looking to get saddled, loose crews on the right. Two saddled. Two granted. Granted. Rolling out, heading 225. <laughs> Oh wow, they did a number on that research plant at our 3 o'clock. Oh uh, yeah, cool. Trying to look for divert fields, but it looks like we have none, so we'll be heading straight into uh, the Truman. 
Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Um, field state 5-5, five, five. recommend higher altitude available. Yeah, I'm state 5-4, I'm just gonna calculate one thing here for a second. Nah, it's only an eight mile difference. Won't waste it. All right, coming up uh, to Angel's uh, 35 here. Two. Flight. Uh, disregard action. Bomber just above us dropping its ordnance. I think so. <laughs> oh man, we're kind of not quite underneath it, but that was pretty close shape. Yeah. Two is stand by. I need a break formation in a second. My truck car is kind of being screwy. Copy, no worries. She's got it sorted, looking to rejoin. Two, granted, I'm gonna level off an Angel 32 and increase speed so you can join up. Two. Flight fence out. Two's fence dial four point nine. Lead fence out state four point eight.
flight. Let's climb a little higher here. Two. And two saddle. But uh Flight, push button. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Uh, you saying we're pushing button one? Uh, correction button two. Pushing button two. Uh, safe fuel state? Roger. Fuel state 4.1, Modex 407. 4.1, Arson. Yep, 4.1. Rough Rider Marshall Talon 202, holding hands with Winder 407, marking Mom 047. For 42, Angels 36, low fuel state 4.1 inbound. Alright, starting the descent here, stand by the boards. And boards. Here we go. Coming back on the power. Set more power. Power set. All right, a little more power coming back. a little more power. Power set.
It's like coming back on the power. Said more power. A little more power. Power set. There we go a little steeper here. Were you able to determine the BRC? BRC, uh, I wrote it down. It's uh, 055. Thanks. You have the ILS? You have the ILS. Uh, yeah, Niner hooks. Two is good hook. One's good hook. Come a little more steeper here. Little power back. Little more power. Power set. Correction, BRC 052. Two. Rough Rider 202, see you at 10, descending 6 for 2, low fuel state 3.8. Altitude. Altitude. Stand by the pole. Here we go. A little more pull. Stand by the boards. Boards. Holding 250 and coming right. Way too close to the carrier. Alright, well, we'll fix that with an extended down one then. Rough 
Rough Rider 202 overhead at Angels post, uh, Angel 2, post 3, commencing. Alright, here we go. A little more power. Ready to check two four one five. Mars. Uh, flight. When you uh, roll out, uh, switch to button one or once uh, we break. Coming up, cover girl. Oh, okay, I got it. I'll be doing a slight zero hotel here. <laughs> Nickel flight, you won, uh, Marshall. See you, boss.
Solid deck, Rough Rider. Rough Rider, clear deck. Roger ball, two point eight. Roger ball, twenty seven down the angle. On glide slope on center line. Right for lineup. Uh work. Foul deck.
Paddle contact.
tower paddle uh, 301 at uh, right now. Is that cool if I shoot shit on? Yeah, 301, you're clear for uh, recovery, and you're clear for a shit on. 301, we'll be down at 30. Bring it! Cameras roll. Zero one initial. All right, three zero one. Union valve contact.
Trump got ball 7 3. Roger ball. Right for lineup. All right, everyone on stream, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Thank thanks and take care.